playing Frederick Svane, uh, younger brother of Rasmus, who's a uh, solid 2600 plus GM. And just Frederick is becoming a very strong GM himself. There are Danes living in Germany. Queen of six. Wowza. That was unexpected. What should I do now? Let's try and go for a safe move. Check. Yeah, I think that's the normal move. Here. Okay, let's just develop. Shouldn't be too bad. Actually, it's pretty un unimpressive. Like d6 and bishop g4, maybe? Now we can maybe go bishop g5, question mark. Okay, let's go b4 first. Attack these pieces a little bit. Now bishop g5. Now I'm playing with the old well-tested strategy of just threatening stuff and then hoping something works. Ignore his moves and play my own game. Yeah, it's usually good. Usually good strategy in chess. And most other games. Should I keep the bishop or should I trade? If I attack ten, something 10 times, don't make a mistake. Exactly. You're learning. Am I actually a good gamer? No. I only play chess. Oh, the viewers are back. Nice. Okay. Cool. Very good. I wasted a little bit of time Changing the um, title, but not too much. Should go bishop c4? No. No need for subtlety. I feel like I'm slightly better here. Play CSGO, chess sucks. Is that Elon Musk in the chat? He doesn't like chess. <laughs> that was probably Elon. Let's take it. He takes the pawn, knight c4. Here. I go bishop c2, then bishop e3, maybe. My position is kind of unimpressive, to say. h3, then king h2, and f4. No, Nepo is technically stronger than Magnus. Well, we don't ban people easily in this channel, but that sort of comment could put you over the edge. Okay, let's go for an attack. Oh, that was royally stupid. A, B, F4, I didn't see B, C3. Uh, I have to go with bishop b3 then, and cb. I'm playing pretty bad. Pretty badly in this game. Pretty, 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 pretty bad. Ban that terrible human being. Yeah. Well, we are. We don't ban easily, but as I said, that was not good. Uh, 
Uh, but I'm still doing sort of fine. If he moves to bishop, I got d b5, knight d4, b6. Bishop d4, I got rook c1, and then b5 is a threat. This, however... Hmm, I'm not sure I like this for him. Queen d6. It's funny that my king is just on h2 for no reason here. But... Apart from that, my position looks a bit better. I have the bishop pair. He cannot take the pawn because it takes and then bishop d6. And if rook d8, I have queen c7, rook d7, and then rook e1, I think. Oh, why am I pointing the adder instead of playing the move? Too much streaming. He clearly missed this one. What am I doing? Why didn't I just take... Ah, then queen d4. It's actually... This is actually better. This is actually better. Not so easy to win. Okay, let's take it. Ah, bishop e... Yeah, bishop e6, but... Hmm. No, it's not easy to win at all, actually. Should I go bishop e5 and then rook g6? No, then it's got... Hmm. I haven't played this perfectly. This knight is a little bit out of play. But I cannot quite trap it, can I? Rook b2, then he's got... Then he's got knight c1. Okay, let's... Do this, knight b3, rook c2. Try and dominate his knight a little bit. He's got rook d7 though. Okay, let's get the majority going. I mean, with uh, with an extra pawn and a very strong bishop, there are definite winning chances here. I'm trying to dominate the knight again. Let's push. Push again. Out of seven. That's a bit annoying, actually. Ah, uh, running out of time. I think I gotta go for the rook ending. That was a mistake. Now he's losing for sure. Ah, uh, playing too slowly. He had to check there first, I think. Now here, king goes to g6, and I'm winning. Yeah, rook f. One king g6. He has to go here to block the pawn, but then I'm just go take the pawn, and that's an easy win. 